I'm not taking any of the work with me. I have to see it enough. Ugh, I'm so unorganized. I can't even tell what my own notes mean. Oh, what's this? Something scribbled here with my name on it. it just says left, right, right, middle, left, right, left. Hmm. These are the hidden buttons Hans uses for the hideout. Only problem is, I can never remember his stupid codes. Darn bees, trying to move into our tree house. You're not welcome here. It might seem like an ordinary tree, but really it's our secret hideout. I helped Hans make it, but it was his idea. Now it's basically our home and my favorite place to be. There we are. About time. Uh, Hans? Hello? Winnie! Oh! <laughs> s -s 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 Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. But I I'm glad you're finally here. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for your dang door code, what's got you all excited, huh? You'll never believe what I found. Oh, I, 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 I barely believe it myself. Last night, by the orphanage, I heard two travelers talking about something. They said it was the scientific discovery of the century. Well, what was it? Winnie, they found it. They found just what we've been looking for. It's called telekinesis. I'm not following. What's telekinesis? Telekinesis, y yes. Well, I wasn't so sure myself. But it went on to describe how this man could move things just by thinking about it. So, he was actually a witch then? No. No, Winnie, that's the thing. He was just a regular farmer. And that's not all. He, 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 he could, could read people's thoughts and feelings, their memories. The townsfolk accused him of being a witch. What with the fear of witchcraft spreading and all. But apparently, he knew nothing about witchcraft. He just sensed his abilities. Okay, that's nice for him, but I still don't see why you're all excited. Right, yes. Well, I did some research after hearing this, and it's just like I thought. All the things that were said about this man's abilities, it's just like the third eye chakra spells. Third eye? Isn't that the subject we had a few weeks ago in class? Exactly. Don't you s s s see? It's what we've been looking for. It's a connection between science and witchcraft, Winnie. You mean, this would show Mother once and for all that science is important? Exactly. Just think of the possibilities, too. The discoveries we could make with this. Hold on. If this is what the third eye thing can do, then my test, I could pass it easily. Well, sh 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 sure. But not just that. If we can learn more about what telekinesis is, then we can help people understand magic through science. People won't have to be afraid of us anymore. This is it. This could be what finally helps me beat Yannicka once and for all. Oh, but Winnie, I think p p p perhaps we should concentrate on... Right. What do we do now? Can we get it? This telekinesis? Telekinesis. Right. Right, whatever. How do we get it? What do we do? Well, maybe, but perhaps we shouldn't rush into this. Rush? Hans, the Wanderer's test is any day now. Mother was just lecturing me about it. If I get this telenemimus, if I use it to pass this test, my weird will be perfect. Mother won't have to scold me or tell me off anymore. Right, that is true. And maybe finally, Finally, Mother will stop comparing me. I'll never have to be told I'm not as good as precious little Yannicka ever again. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Winnie. Let's do it. Let's help you pass that test. So, details, details. How are we going to do this? Do you remember anything about the third eye spells? I, uh, might not have been paying too much attention in class. Ah, uh, yes, I looked over my notes last night. We were never taught any direct awakening spells, but there's one incantation Mrs. Vogt recited from her spell book that kind of fits. Okay, great. What is it? it? It's an incantation to summon the goddess Minerva for extrasensory insight and knowledge. You imbue magic beads with the spell, then place them on your head to help open your third eye. But Winnie, you know that Mrs. Volk's spell book is strictly off limits to us. And you know it wouldn't be the first time I've borrowed it either. All right, so first we need a plan for swiping the spell book again. What else? Oh, well, from what I remember, the, the beads are okay. I have some left over from class. But we also need three candles. One of white, one of purple, and one of b b blue. Hmm, that could be tricky. I don't think there's any left in the school. We, we could make them, though. We can? All right, great. Swipe spell book, make candles, easy. Let's get cracking, then. Where's this telekinesis guy gone? Let's go find him. Surely he could just tell me how to pass my test if he wants to help people, right? Actually, that was kind of my first thought, too. That's why I'm fixing this machine. The idea is that it reads patterns of energy moving in the brain when you wear it. So if we observe this man's brain patterns, then perhaps we could even replicate them. Yes! That sounds great. Let's do it. Um, but I, I'm not so sure. It might take time, Winnie. This machine still needs a lot of work. And the man, he went into hiding. What? Why? To avoid punishment. These townspeople, they're really serious about putting an end to witchcraft. Ugh, darn people. Always getting so worked up about stuff they don't know anything about. Yes, well, well that's why they get worked up, Winnie. We just have to be patient, find ways to help them understand, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. What do we need for candle making, then? Uh, well, I know it's possible. I just don't know how. Yannicka's the one who told me about it. Maybe you can ask her. Oh. Right, of course she did. Ugh. But I do know how to make dyes. So if we can make candles, I can help color them. As long as it's the right color, it can be flowers, plants, stuff like that. I have a book on biology around here that might help you. Hmm. And we need white, purple, and blue. Keep your eyes open, and if you see anything, bring it to me and I'll take care of the dye. By the way, Mother said you have to go see her about your test. Oh, right. <sighs> I still need to pass the smoke appearance module. Smoke appearance? Oh, is that for your elective? Yeah, methods of appearing. The only reason I chose it is because I thought I could fake it with solidified carbon dioxide. Turns out, not so easy to move around or use on my own. Solid carbon... what? Solidified carbon dioxide. It's that smoky stuff behind me there. It's kind of like ice, but dry and much colder. So cold it burns you if you touch it. I figured that out the hard way. But how's that meant to help you with your smoke appearance? Well, that fog coming off of it? That's sublimation. The ice turning from a solid into a gas. But if you drop the ice into water, then that happens a lot faster and makes a lot more fog. Ah, I see. And then you'd use that to disguise your appearance. Clever, clever. Hmm. Maybe, not just disguising an appearance, but also a disappearance as well. Winnie, what are you planning now? Hans, we'll use this to steal the spell book. It's perfect. If there's as much fog as you say, it should be easy to grab it while Mother is distracted. Sure, but like I said, it's too cold to carry. 
and we don't have any gloves. And besides, I can't really drop it in water without Mrs. Volk noticing. Right, right. Don't worry about all that. I'll find a way I can help while you're doing the test. Leave it to me. I'll figure it out. Right. This incantation isn't, uh, incantating itself. I'm off to get us stuff. Okay then, Winnie. I'll, I'll be here if you need me. Ah, uh, yes. Well, looks to me like the gas from that thing is becoming a liquid in that thing. And that thing is... Ah, who am I kidding? Hans is always one step ahead in learning all of this stuff. These look like diagrams for Hans' machine. I can actually kind of follow this. After all the time I've spent watching him tinker with these things, it's not too surprising, I guess. These are just different chemicals we keep around for various experiments. It's part of the machine Hans is working on to copy the old guy's telkinesis. I guess this part has something to do with receiving and calculating what the headgear scans. Things would be easier if we could just find him and get him to share his ability with us. So this is that dry ice stuff Hans was talking about. I wonder if it will really make as much fog when added to water as he says it will. That's Hans' most prized possession. A certificate for first place in a science youth fair. It was his first award for science ever. A silly thing for kids in the village, but still, I'm super proud of him. It'll be the first of many, I'm sure. This little fellow always comes and keeps us company at the hideout. Apart from me and Hans, he's the only other one that knows where it is. So no telling, got it? Hans manages to find bunches of new ones every week from the village. I try and keep up with him, but geez, he can read books way bigger than I can. 